Hey guys, this is Mainak and today we will see how to check the mass participation factor and also the sum of the mass participation factors in the Tecla Structural Designer software. So these checks are very important during the structural writing or checking process. So let's go ahead. So first of all, you need to have a fully analyzed and designed model and then you need to just, uh, uh, you know, if you want to see the process, uh, if you don't know the process, you can just check the process. You can uh, find out the link of the earlier video in the description of that is the part one of the video and you can check that out and then you have to uh, go to design and click on design all other say so that you can view the results so after you have done that uh, the second step is you can go to analyze and uh, you know turn on the model uh, and results so after you do that make sure you just uh, click on these two things first order model so after clicking give some time for the software to solve it and then you click on analyze all rsa okay so if you click on analyze all rsa then it will be uh, designed even if you don't click design all rsa earlier then also it will work no problem you are analyzing by rsa and then uh, then after that you just change this to first order rsa seismic so now you can uh, analyze the seismic forces here and now you just click have these options coming so first of all click on model frequencies and once you click on model frequency just change the load pattern to effective seismic weight then you see this uh, model frequencies here uh, now you can see the model frequencies mass participation factor uh, here and you can also see the frequency 1.3 hertz 1.4 like this uh, these are changing so what is the mass participation clause according to the is code uh, i think it should be 19 like it's page number 17 of the uh, no, uh, hard copy 19 of the soft copy so you can see in this table number six it is given in uh, by the way this building is seismic zone three then this is on two and three and uh, it should be at least 65 percent of the mass partition factor in each principal direction and for seismic zone four and five it should be 60 percent uh, and then also there is a clause for the natural period that the two natural periods should not uh, should be away from each other by at least 10 percent or any of the larger values okay uh 10 of the larger value so this is the clause uh, I, I heard that they are modifying this the second clause so not focus on that right now the main thing is that 65 percent should be the sum of the first three modes so the first three modes i can see uh, in these two directions we applied this uh, earthquake load in z direction uh, we have not applied the earthquake load uh, in this one this means on four and five that is compulsory but you not applied since it is three so this is 76 more than uh, 65 so it is fine okay like this we check the sound mass now the summed mass is 90 percent in the two directions in which you apply the uh, earthquake loads so let's see what the clause says i think it's 26 is yes, 26 in clause number 7.7.5.2 .7 number of modes to be used in the analysis or the, earth, the earthquake shaking along a considered direction should be such that the sum total of model masses of these two, uh, these modes is at least 90 percent of the total seismic mass so you can see the total seismic mass uh, you can see the participation uh, percentage in uh, you can see 91.16 90.11 so it is uh, at least 90 percent is more than 90 percent so it is fine you can also see the dynamic masses also uh, you can see that this is the these are the dynamic masses here you can check this effective seismic weight active masses by node these other things active masses by level also you can find out so these other things you can uh, uh, find out uh, using this uh, uh, tabulated options okay so remote shape by level so you can find out but the main important checks which you uh, which every you know checker or you know structural vetting authority or institution checks is the uh, you know model frequencies and the sum mass so these two th uh, checks are very important so you know how to do this now so make sure to like the video to help the youtube algorithm and keep learning bye bye